everywhere. Oh, I just feel more alive, you know? Do you feel me? You just feel more lively and like... What's up you guys? I'm Cameron. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. For me it is Thursday and I thought why not take you through my everyday makeup routine. It's so so simple. Um, I basically have just washed, moisturized, and primed my face. I also have an SPF on that has like a little bit of a glow to it so it makes me like a little bit oily but I'm going to be trying out some new products today as well as showing you some of my tried and trues that I love and feel like I can't live without, honestly. I rarely wear makeup, but when I do, these are my go-tos. So I'm gonna show you how to apply these for a really nice, natural, but subtle glam look. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I like to start out with something that's just light coverage. This is by It Cosmetics. It's Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil-Free Matte poreless finish full coverage cream pretty sure this just goes on it does have SPF in it so it's not I don't know how that like flashbacks gonna look but we'll see I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and then with a damp beauty blender I'm going to go right in and just and go in with my Tarte Shape Tape now. This is in the color Medium or the shade Medium. And then that CC cream that I just used is also in shade Medium. Um, like I said, I wasn't really sure if it was going to match me nicely, but it did a decent job. So now with this, I'm going to just dab a little bit on some of my imperfect areas. I don't love putting it under my eyes. I don't know about you, but I end up taking my finger and like rubbing it off the corner of my eyes anyways, just because I don't love that like not cakey under eye look but if you like set it with powder and it looks all dusty I don't like that I like everything to look kind of lived in my favorite point in wearing the makeup is after your face gives a little bit of oil um, so it's pretty natural looking you get a good glow I just got a new blush so I'm pretty interested to see how that is going to work it is a cream and a powder I've never used a cream blush before, so I'm kind of interested. Stay tuned for that. It's the new Patrick Ta um, Duo blush. But yeah, let's blend this out. First, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face where I put the concealer with this Pro Filter Fenty Beauty um, like setting powder this is in the shade butter this is gonna be interesting because I have a fan right here fun fact my apartment's AC is so bad so I have fans like constantly running I'm gonna put this under my eyes in the corner and then I do like to like come up here Alrighty, so I'm going in with my Bare Minerals bronzer. I love this one. It's the Endless Summer Bronzer in Faux Tan. And as you can see, it's fairly used. Um, and then I just have a Sonia Kashuk brush. It's from Target, but I love it. And I just, with my bronzer, I kind of do like upward strokes and stipple it in as well. I think the stippling makes it look the most natural. So I drag this up into my hairline, push it in. It's like a push and a drag. So I'm not being rough by any means, but. I'm also going to go in with a angled brush. Where is mine? This is just the Sephora brand, and I take a little bit on here, and I just contour my nose a little bit. I love the look of a contoured nose because it kind of ties in the contour on your cheekbones to the rest of your face, and you don't have that like dusty nose look. 
just gives you some dimension and as you can see I'm dragging it out across my eyelid. I watched this video so long ago and it was a makeup artist he said if you don't drag your nose contour up into your eyelid then you shouldn't be putting on nose contour in the first place. And then James Charles taught me to kind of drag it out past the eyelid. And then I'm actually gonna go in with highlighter first. I know a lot of people would go straight into blush, but I like to go in with highlighter and then use the blush to kind of tie the highlighter, contour, everything together and make it look nice and seamless. For my highlight, I use the Becca Cosmetics. This is in Vanilla Quartz and it is shattered. So as you can see, she has been worked. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do my best to make this a full video, but I'm doing it on my phone and my phone frequently runs out of storage. So that's why I really haven't tried filming any YouTube videos because I know that my phone runs out quickly. But now I'm taking that same setting powder and I am just making this more of a straight line. I feel like it cleans up the look so much and I definitely love when I do this step. Sometimes I forget, but I also like to drag it right into my mouth because I have a couple dark spots right here so that really helps and then right in the middle just to blend everything out. I'm loving the way this is looking. It looks a lot less dramatic on the camera which like I said not a makeup guru so I don't really know why. Um, I also don't have the greatest phone of all time. I really want a camera. I'm going back in with that highlighter just to brighten it up a little bit and get it back on the nose. I need to stop looking at the viewfinder. Technically, it's not a viewfinder. It's just the screen on my phone, but I need to stop looking at that and I need to look at the camera. Okay, this is my favorite part. We are going in with the new Patrick Ta for the face collection. This is the blush and it's the double take cream and powder blush duo in the shade, do we know her? Do we know her? I don't know. Okay, so with a cream blush, I did use my finger last night and it went on so nicely. So before I do that, I'm going to wipe this off on both sides because I don't want it to look too stripy. But do you see it just tied everything so nicely together? I have this brush and I'm going to try to use this for the cream. I don't know how it's going to work, but it's just a flat stippling brush and I'm going to go in here. Get a decent amount on there. This is scaring me. And then I, oh, she's bright, but she's so pretty. Okay, I definitely need to dilute this. So if I wanna dilute something, I just rub it on the back of my hand, go back in. And with blush, it really depends on your face shape as far as like where you place it. But this is so pigmented, you guys. I feel like an amateur putting this on, but for me, I like to drag blush up and across my nose and right now I'm just pushing it into my skin very lightly. This is a lot more pigmented than I thought and I just bring it everywhere on it. I don't even know if I want to go in with the powder. I guess we have to try it. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap with this little blush brush, tap it on there to really set everything in. If you want a more glowy look, a little hack would be to use the powder first and then go over with the cream and that was actually a tip from Patrick Totter but I will be right back I'm going to go do my brows um, off camera and then maybe I'll do one on camera so you guys can see what I do but it's nothing crazy I just use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow powder duo in dark brown mine is very well used um, and then I use it on same, or I use it, my brain, hello? I use it, I apply it with this brush. Oh my gosh, you guys. But Alrighty, I'm back. I have one brow on and I feel just as crazy as I look. Um, but I'm with my eyebrows, I have learned that less is more. I used to have the gnarliest, darkest eyebrows. So I, what I started doing is taking the lighter color and I actually start right here where like my the thickest part of my brow turns into the thinner part and I just kind of pack it on 
I get, a, I get a little line going and then from there I pull it up and I brush that product up through the brow and I basically just keep doing that until it is nicely blended. And then I'm gonna go in with the clear brow gel. I believe this is from Anastasia as well. The label basically is gone. But with this, I just like to flick up, flick up, flick up all the way. And then I take it on the top and just brush them down a little bit. Before I move on to my eyelashes, I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals Bare Pro. It's basically a powder foundation in the shade Gold Ivory. And I'm gonna take it on my Beauty Blender, bounce it in, and just press this into the spots where I get oily. And I'm just gonna, it will help blend everything together. Now I'm going to do my eyelashes and then I'm pretty much done here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take an eyelash curler. I don't do any of that crazy nonsense where you heat it up. I think that's damaging. I did have eyelash extensions for like a year and I loved them. I would 100% get them back on. If you have a good lash tech, your eyelashes should not get ruined. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Superhero Lash by it cosmetics and it has a really nice wand that gets in between all those lashes and you guys the key to a really nice lash look is the curler and curling your lashes really good before going in with the mascara i find that when i don't curl my lashes my mascara is a hot mess so my biggest advice for you with doing your eyelashes would be to curl those bad boys Make sure they're all going in the same direction. Also, I don't know about any of you guys, leave a comment below if you can do your mascara with both hands. This is the only thing that I am like so-called ambidextrous with, but I actually do a better job on my left eye using my left hand. And then for that excess, like I showed you guys in the last one, I just take that same brush and I blend it out with a brush, or I use a Q-tip, but I don't have one on hand. And that is my look pretty much complete. If you're feeling crazy, this Morphe lipstick, it's so dirty, but this Morphe lipstick is a lovely color for an everyday look. I will show you guys how I apply that. I don't use lip liner, just because I don't own one, and I don't really know how. I kind of overline my lips with the lipstick, and it works out perfectly fine. Let me just take our hair out. Boom. I don't really love the lipstick, but it's okay. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe not. Thank you so much for watching my little makeup tutorial. Super simple. Um, if you would like to mess with the colors, you can add more bronzer, add more blush, whatever. If you have any makeup tips below, if you have any makeup tips, please leave them below so that I can take a look, comment back to you guys. I would love to know your tips and tricks. But as for me, I am signing off. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys. I will see you next time.